Hi, I'm Dr. Vidushi from Suvi Eye Hospital, Kota, Rajasthan, India. In this video, we describe the use of premium IOLs, that is toric and multifocal IOLs in the presence of compromised capsular integrity. The advantages of these IOLs are well known and they can be used in selected cases even when the capsule, especially the anterior capsule is torn. This is the first case where a toric IOL is being implanted in a case of a traumatic cataract. This cataract was caused by a thorn injury. This is an old cataract where most of the cataract has been absorbed. So this is a partially absorbed cataract and as we can see here, it is mainly the thick fibrotic anterior capsule that is left behind which is obscuring the visual axis. So we make the side port and the main incisions. The capsule has been stained for better visibility and because this capsule was so thick and fibrotic, we had to use Avana scissors to actually cut the fibrotic anterior capsule. A shimmering ring has been formed here. Once this uh, thick fibrotic anterior capsule is out of the way and the visual axis is clear, we can see that the bag is uh, relatively well centered. We implant a toric IOL here with a cylindrical component of 4.5 diopter cylinder to correct a corneal cylinder of about 3 diopters. The crucial thing to see in these cases is that despite the torn anterior capsule and capsular injury, the capsular bag should be well centered at the end of the surgery so that it ensures a uh, good centration and stability of these premium IOLs. After implanting the IOL, we remove the remaining parts of the shimmering ring and the fibrotic anterior capsule using various maneuvers including visco expression to remove it from the anterior chamber so that we have a good and clear visual axis postoperatively. After doing all these maneuvers, we again ensure that the toric IOL is well aligned and is a uh, along its intended axis. At the end, we have to remove the uh, viscoelastic that we have used in the capsular bag as well as from under the eyewall. And this is the second case which is also a traumatic cataract with a torn anterior capsule and as we know in children there are problems with using bifocal glasses at that age. So, we uh, intend to implant a multifocal IOL. This is a 12 year old child. The side port incisions and main incision are made. The capsule has been stained. There is a rent right through the center of the anterior capsule. So, we do not need uh, uh, to make a capsular excess. This is soft uh, lens matter in a small child. So, all the lens matter can be removed easily using only biomanual irrigation aspiration. Now you can see here clearly the uh, split in the anterior capsule. We use a multifocal IOL which is an, uh, provided from the Abbott Medical Optics Company. And the multifocal IOL is being implanted very carefully and gently into the remaining capsular furnaces so that the multifocal IOL is stable in the capsular furnaces and is well centered. Of course, we need to be very careful at this time that we do not cause any further injury to the capsule. So the multifocal IOL is being carefully aligned to ensure a stable and well-centered position. This is at the end of the surgery where we can see that the IOL is well-centered and post-operatively the child gained good visual accuracy both for distance as well as for near without using glasses. So it is a good idea to uh, use multifocal IOLs in selected cases to ensure that the children of this age can remain spectacle free as they may have real problems in using bifocal glasses. This is the third case which again is a traumatic cataract with a ruptured anterior capsule. This is also a white traumatic cataract caused by a uh, farm related injury and we are doing this under topical anesthesia as the child was quite uh, cooperative. We can see the rent in the anterior capsule with flocculent lens matter that is coming out into the anterior chamber. We uh, do the side port incisions and the main incision. The capsule has to be stained in all these cases for better visualization and to clearly demarcate the area of the capsule rent so that we can 
uh, be very careful during the surgery not to extend this injury any further in the capsule. Again this is soft lens matter and we can see here that the edges of this tear in the anterior capsule have become fibrous as it has been some time since the injury and the lens matter has been removed through this opening in the anterior capsule with fibrotic edges. So despite the uh, injury to the capsule, the capsular bag is stable and is well centered. So we implant a multifocal IOL with a preloaded delivery system. This is the IOL being uh, placed in uh, IOL being adjusted in the uh, ready to deliver injection system and the IOL is being implanted into the capsular bag. So like for any other multifocal IOL, we have to ensure that it is well centered. At the, after the IOL implantation, this fibrotic edge of the uh, capsular rent is tackled and we convert this opening into a good anterior capsular axis so that there is no obscuration of the visual axis post-operatively because of the fibrotic edges of the capsule tear. This is the end of the surgery with a very well centered multifocal IOL and then we remove all the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber and from under the IOL and implant moxifloxacin as a routine practice. This is the happy child at the end of the surgery with a very good uh, post-operative visual acuity both for distance as well as for near without the use of glasses. So again I would emphasize that in children it becomes very important because they may have problems using bifocal glasses. So to summarize uh, it is extremely important in these cases to have a good pre-operative discussion with the patient to ensure that the patient has reasonable expectations and to let him know that despite uh, all our efforts, they may still have to wear glasses. So thorough preoperative counseling, a good evaluation of the case, accurate biometry like in all premium IOLs like toric and multifocal will ensure that we can give a good result. Intraoperatively, the IOL has to be implanted in the capsular furnaces so that we have maximum support and there is good centration at the end of the surgery. If there is any vitreous in the anterior chamber, we have to tackle it. Uh, as post-vitreous may cause decentration of the IOL even post-operatively. And if needed, we can use a capsule tension ring or capsular support system. Also post-operatively, we need a careful follow-up to evaluate the IOL centration and if there is any need later on to manage the sequelae like PCO or decentration etc. to ensure that the visual re results remain good. Thank you.